Hi guys, it's uh, Monster Cameron here again tonight, and um, it's just another one of those nights. I just felt like I had to go out and take a little walk, so I did. But uh, right now, um, well, today actually, just a couple of uh, maybe an hour ago, uh, I was talking to one of the guys that, that develops um, the video editors I'm using, and he's a really nice guy. Um, yeah. Um, but we were talking about how his project is coming along and uh, what's uh, in store for the future and I can tell you that it's, it's very promising. Um, uh, but besides that, uh, there was one thing that came up uh, in a conversation that he had no real answer to. Uh, and it is, uh, what's that? How do you uh, make money off giving away your product? You know, basically giving away your, your product for free. How do you make money? How is it? You know, how do you make a profit in that scenario? And um, there's no active way to make money because you can't ask for money because you already gave them your product for free. So there are, there are a couple ways, but it's, it's like it's it's a passive uh, effect. Uh, there are a couple ways I can think of. Um, uh, one is advertising so advertising uh, uh, could be a very powerful way to um, uh, to monetize your project the only thing is for advertising you need to have a lot of people using your project um, uh, like say, for example um, the Nova Cut project um, this is a, a collaborative video editor for HDSLRs um, that one of the software I'm trying to I'm testing out. Um, it's pretty much a web kit. Uh, it's pretty much a web browser. Uh, so you could stick, I guess, some uh, image ads and stuff in there. And um, you know, every hit, uh, every time a person loads up, you get they get a hit, or they could get some kind of corporate uh, corporate sponsorship uh, type deal. Um, but that's in that instance, and then there's the other way you could go a, a donate uh, a donation route. Uh, I don't know. You could like set up a PayPal account or something like that to that effect, and um, you could uh, you could uh, lost for words stream of consciousness people. Yeah, you could make a little bit of a, a little bit of money doing that. Um, it won't be the best unless you have like huge number of followers. But that could really help. Uh, but that's mainly it. You, you can only pretty much do donations or advertising because the, pro the product already you know, is, is given away. So there's nothing you can do about the product itself. There's no uh, sale to, to the project. Uh, there's another way. There is um, uh, more of a contractual kind of, uh, type deal where um, you know you can like help out with someone's project if they're using your software you can provide them support like uh, like what can canonical and red hat and uh, the other guys do pretty much if I'm not mistaken so they provide software for their the free um, product which is you know Ubuntu or CentOS uh, or Red Hat Enterprise Linux um, so yeah or even uh, SUSE they, they have free uh, products, but uh, they have like paid support. So yeah, it's um, there's not a lot of ways to actively make money selling your product, Oops. but you can still make some money. Uh, but in the end, it all comes down to the product you're selling and the the, the people that you're selling it to, even if you're not selling it for money, if it's um, quote unquote free as in um, free stream of consciousness people um, I don't know what else to talk about yeah but yeah that's what has mainly been on my mind um, I think it's a deterrent to some people because you know they don't have passion in their hearts they just do a project for money and I don't blame them you have to make a living but one of the greatest things about Linux is that there's so many passionate people that's why I like to use Linux because uh, they, they throw their hearts and souls into it and you can feel it it might be crap compared to commercial stuff but it, it has a feeling all to its own I don't know how to explain it 
um, oh yeah, it's like handcrafted versus um, you know robot uh, manufactured uh, or made in America versus made in China. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Well, I'll cut the video off here then. All right, so all right, let's one more to know If you have any thoughts of your own, leave a comment in the description. Um, you know, like the video, subscribe for your chat more shit on the camera. All right, peace.